All right, we're starting the back end of the placement matches. So I've done three, right, three of them, and we're three and zero oh right now. So we're gonna do one more. I've been practicing, so trying to step up my game since that last fight was pretty tough. We're gonna go in and do number four, and then we will finish it tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, so we're three and zero oh with two knockouts. The last time I think we finished three and two on my dad's placement. We did three and two, right? Three wins, two losses. Okay, so middleweight, we're gonna try out Roy Jones. Let's go. Trigger scared. He knows what's on the line here. He said, Grandpa, don't make it. Don't tell him not to do it. <sighs> Please give me your address. Well, here goes 40 seconds. I love how people say this game is dead and it takes me 40 seconds to get a rank match. It's like play PUBG and that's a dead game. Nope, you gotta go, buddy. I know. Thank you. Thank you for the wishes of luck, Trigger, but you gotta go. He's like, you're gonna die, man. Oh, it's Roy versus Roy. Oh, no, dude. This guy's platinum. 28 and 5. Okay, this will be the test to see if you're checking. Oh, my goodness. Will it work? Print. Princess Stormy Hickey. What? Princess? Scales at 72 kilos, 180 centimeters tall, Dude. with a reach of 180. Princess Stormy Hickey. Shout out. If, you're, if, you're, if the strategy doesn't Junior. work right away, dude, you better just go back into plan B. It's a, it's 28 and 5, platinum 4, so this is definitely going to be the toughest, technically the toughest challenge since I started the placements. Why am I getting a plat 4 guy in placement? <laughs> I'm, I'm letting this one play out. I'm letting it ride out here. Oh, sexy. It's a red connection against a plat four guy. I love this. I'm already loving this. I smell fuckery. Yeah. Red connection, plat four placement. Love it. Roy versus Roy. Do Roy Jones. If the streak is to come to an end, hopefully it's against a guy named Princess. Don't blink. That fight could be over. Man, the connection is just chomping the balls here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. Here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world. Roy I'm trying to let this Jones connect here, but it's just not. <coughs> it's got to be this guy's internet. Right? Oh, it's Jesus. It's going to be really what a great venue, shocking either what a great Yes. Cannot wait be good content here. Tell him what's what, Kenny Bayless. What I say, you must obey. Be smart, SMRT. I'm going to let underwear. Let underwear. I like it already. It's sexy. Okay, he doesn't know what to do. Now you gotta work from that though. That uppercut. I like it already. Both men step back for just a moment. Oh, got through there, dude. We welcome you to this beautiful theater. Shakespeare has nothing on the drama that we've seen between these two fighters. We expect yep. a standing ovation when these two are done. I can hear him stopping the shots. Most of them are getting stopped. 
The nice. Roy Jones blocking technique is strong. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's like, no, dude, just learn how to fucking block. You see, you can still get hit. I just gotta get my groove on the blue side. Still, you can catch the shots pretty good still. <laughs> That left counter was perfectly timed. Woo! The Black Bruce Lee, Roy Jones. You could, like, after you win a fight, like, spin around on the ground like Poltergeist. Right? Like, they need celebration dances yeah, and shit. They, yeah, instead of Pungy having a big game. Right? Yeah. Like, you get up on the rope and you fucking move the crowd. Or piss on, like Shannon Hughes from Hawaii Melon. I think that was a good round. 95% stamina. <laughs> just don't burn your shots. I, I don't know who won that round. Just play defensive and just pick your shots. This is going to be a good fight. <clears throat> it's red the whole fucking time. Hold up, bro. I got to take my t-shirt off. One bar is red. But wait till all four go red. Oh, yeah. Four bagger. And then you won't be able to throw punches. Yeah, I'll just get four bagged. Okay. I took the sweater off. It's getting serious. That's it. is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. He's had got great reactions. Counter punches are the best. And he misses with the left uppercut. Good counter punching for both these athletes. <laughs> he still can get me. This guy's platform, remember. Yeah, and he's uh, 28 and 5, so he's obviously won a lot of fights. We'll see how he takes a 12 round fight, though. Judging by his style. Alright, so we're basically working a guard here and coming out of it with counter shots, trying to really save our stamina up. Trying a different style here so we're not totally just one dimensional. And then we can kind of switch it up as the fight goes on. So last time our counterpunch style basically relied on movement in and out. And my blocking was fairly weak. So now I'm trying to adapt a style that can also have strong blocking. <coughs> 89. And I still hit him with some shot good shots there. I think he's cut above his eye. I saw a cut there. Look. Yeah, because his doesn't show, but look. Can you see that right there? Oh, yeah. That is. That is a cut. That is a cut confirmed. That is a cut confirmed. Okay, do you have any uh, advice coming out of the corner? Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what I'm doing? Yeah. Don't change it? Yeah. Out the okay. All right, here we go. You can stay in the pocket for this style. Now. Yeah, I'd stay right in the pocket. <laughs> Instead, I was yelling, get out of there. Yeah. Now it's like, just, just stay eat in it. there. Stay in there! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that was my weakness, right? I couldn't block. 
So if someone, if someone came in the pocket and pushed me, that's where I suffered. Or chasing someone around, I would get peppered a lot. Which is kind of what that last guy, Smooth Bandu, showed me. What? Yeah. I think he's trying to do it too. He's probably more gas than you are. It's hard to say. Really? Because he's landed some shots on me. Yeah, but he's throwing more punches at you. Good counter there. Caught me smart. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to take some massive risk. Because this is laggy. I'm just playing safe because this is super laggy, dude. <laughs> If it was a regular fight, I'd be swinging for the fences on this guy, but it's just too laggy. Interesting. 81. 5%. 4%, 5%. I can't remember. If you can control it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna say you're up five. No, I'm gonna say it's tied. It's interesting to see. I'm down by one on that card. You're down by one. Just because he's throwing more punches. I don't think that matters. He's. What about center ring control? Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing. He countered him more. That's only the predicted scorecard. It's usually fair. Accurate, I've had it be completely wrong at times. Yeah. Last round complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Back when I back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Pardon? A lot of them are, yeah. That hit me. He just blocked that in the nick of time. <laughs> Oh, I think I rocked him with that kind of. Yeah. Made him, made his face hook. Didn't land. Swing and a miss with the left hook. Good counter there. Both of these men showing exceptional chin, by the way. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter. This is close, man. This is a war. <coughs> Pardon, I can't hear you. I think something might happen with his internet. With his internet? Yeah. Some kind of funny stuff might happen with his internet. <coughs> we'll see. Might get to throw in the towel. He's 
Right. Or if his connection is bad. Mm -hmm. We got to test that again this weekend, like the guy said, with only throwing one punch so there can be a decision and just to see what happens. Yeah, there's been some funny ones where it's like you, you knock a guy down and he wins the round. Yeah. <coughs> or the other one is you get him dazed and they'll win the round. <laughs> He won once in a round. Like What's this guy doing? Play. That last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come up. Good counter there. Good counter there. He's really turning it on now. Still working though, right? Yep. Confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Nice counter shot. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Yeah. Double there. counter and a fucking body shot. Yeah. Oh, another one. This is a good technical fight. He misses with that jam. So literally, your last two fights have been the best. Endurance is becoming a factor. You yeah. can see this fighter has a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. <coughs> Excuse me. They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again in the fight. Very close round. Only 10 seconds to go. The punches are glancing and upward. It's an insane hard skill, but if you can pull it off. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Meg looks so, so easy. <coughs> I'm still getting hurt. Like, I'm still taking shots. But this guy's pretty good for me to be at this health. you your block in the red yet? No, it's been yellow. He's got it down to the yellow part. Princess, my hickey. No, Princess Stormy Hickey. Stormy Daniels? Yeah, we're fighting Stormy Daniels here, boys. Stormy Daniels. You got a hickey. Yeah. <clears throat> Michael Avente. Possibly Roger Stone. Here we go. Either or. <laughs> Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. That hit me. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Perfect punch. Catch and shoot with the left down. Yeah. Good job. Certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase Ooh, that hit me hard. athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize. Oh, that was a good counter. Before they even throw their shot, the strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. These two are the perfect dance partners. Got the one there. This one you thought we'd see a lull in the action. Here we go again. Nice punch. Good counter right hand again. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. And you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate, you get desperate, you make mistakes, 
10 seconds to do something here. Lands with the right counter. Fuck, these are close rounds. <laughs> Not do I. I'd say maybe up by one, just for the amount of counters he's had in the last couple of rounds. Yeah. He's snapping a couple good ones. He has. And I don't know if you're getting penalized for being so defensive. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to score it. Right? But he's still throwing punches. Yeah, and landing hard. And landing, yeah. He's like, he looks more beat up than I do. Yeah, and he's thrown a lot, but he's not <coughs> landing, like, the, a good percentage. Yeah. His percentage is low. But the ones he uh, is landing are usually pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good shots. He looks like he's swelling on his right side, or left side. As soon as those, that, those four bars go red, Jason will have gone. Either way, this has been a good fight so yeah. far for how laggy it's been. I hope so. This fight not going to get more time yeah. to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Then there's the bell for round seven. Coming off that fan. Up by two. He's up by two. See if he can keep his momentum going. He might just gas himself through. And then he might be able to get him. He's getting overly aggressive because of the scorecard. Yeah. Right hook just missed. <laughs> this fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And if it's yeah, you can bang too. Nothing but air on that hook. That was a, counter that was a good counter he hit me with. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. Is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. He's been a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Can't land the jab there. Step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about James Jr. Pretty dominant round there. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. 46. They've got this fight. He's working my body really well. He's definitely good enough to challenge it. I've got to practice it more. Yeah. Beautiful counter shot. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the hut. You've got to relax. Even in the space, that would be too much space. I can't throw them from the side very well. Oh, he got me. What a massive upset this would be. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. How are they still standing? aggression against them. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not to give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, come to play with them. You have a tail. 
the single there the win. What you gotta do is you gotta frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way and they'll get so very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Yeah, he's passing up. Look, he's gas, dude. He's got nothing left. <clears throat> I'm <laughs> not sure. Eight, nine, maybe. <clears throat> this is an insane fight. <laughs> yeah, because this guy is not just winging and giving me counters like most people were. So he, this guy must have been doing a lot of practicing because he's got a style already. Yeah, he's got a style. He's not just like spamming. No. <clears throat> he's worked on this, you can tell. Before he started now do it for the minute break as we get set to get Which is smart. Action. And you can tell by his record. Yeah. He's got a good record. Because you're pretty much doing the same thing. Round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get something in. Just make your fight. Your fight. Yeah. Entire month. Just until your head plays again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good spot. There's a big right difference there. between being the aggressor and the effective so there, aggressor. Down, the Which type are we seeing Good so counter there. <laughs> oh, he got me again. I don't know if he's confident in the in the decision that he's won it. I'm not. It could be anyone's get fight. Yeah, pretty much. Plus or minus two, or minus two, so. <coughs> Right? You just make it to the end and lose, that would be great. Yeah. But if he has to throw in the towel because fucking the... Yeah, but we've shown that glitch is real. Yeah. Especially on a shitty connection. Well, maybe that's what he's worried about. <coughs> maybe. Round 10. Yeah, that's where he's beating me up the most, is to the body. Even though your style is... He can sneak him through. Yeah. I practiced it against the AI, and the AI doesn't... It's not as good yeah. at sneaking him through. Humans are way fucking smarter. Yeah, you, it you still works. It still helped my blocking a lot. Yeah, because you got... It, it takes away from your aggressiveness. Yeah. And your ability to fucking put guys down. The more practice I get with it, I'll be better. Yeah. Oh, then you'll be able to combine both. 86, 85. There, see, dude? You pulled it up within a point. Even though he flashed you twice, you pulled it up within a point. So you could win this. Just like that last one you came back. You see what you were doing? Body defense. I'm countering. There, just like that, dude. You can win this round. You tie it up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your time right. 
When getting in there with someone that's so fast, the you're prepared to take a lick it. Because you've got to get some before you get in close. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. of a fight you'll see two boxers feel each other out test each other's power and i think this boxer has decided i can walk through anything that lands what a gift what a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything when you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down it's so demoralizing it absolutely breaks your heart what else can you do Gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice offensive display, landing that left down. I'm going to say it's all tied in. I would assume so. This is an insanely good fight. Holy cow. What a good fight this has been. You gotta give a shout out to Princess Leia there. Yeah, Princess Le <laughs> Princess Leia Hickey Dicky is killing it here, dude. If I'm gonna lose my win, if I'm gonna lose, my, if I'm gonna lose my streak of unbeatenness to you, I'm okay with that. I never thought I'd be okay with that for a person named Princess in a boxing game, but I'm okay with that. You're better than all these dudes trying to act gangster. And you're Princess Stormy Hickey. Shout out, bro. Stormy Daniels. She's probably playing with her fucking tits. The referee calling for second out. Stormy Daniels. <laughs> Surprise using her tits on the sticks. It's a tit stick in it. Tit stick in it. There's the bell for round 11. Not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. this round. Don't get stupid. Watch your nice. Woo! Oh, three piece of fries, motherfucker! Don't do it, don't do no, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Do it, do it. Oh, he countered me! Oh shit! Fucking do it! He's got shit. He's gonna go body for this round and the next round. Remember that. There he's done. Look at him. He's gas, bro. He is gas. Yeah, but so am I. I think he's more gas than you. I don't think he can go blow over 40%. Watch out, he survived this round, bro. Yeah, but he might have just had a bad so I think it's bad yeah, connection yeah, it is. It is. because when it happened with the other computer I had Wi-Fi shit rig I think it's a sh shitty connection thing I want to see the scorecards because I won't consider that, that a win yeah I'd say that was tied dude seriously had to be tied do it no, this one was tied look at this judge he had you losing hard yeah all but these coming, rounds. But coming back, they all had you coming back. Yeah. Though, dude, look. So I would have had these two. So it would have only been 95, 97, 95. He would have beat me. So I would have lost that it fight. It would have been a decision. A split, a decision. split decision and he would have beat me. Dude, look at my percentage and look at his. 746, 708. Like that was an insane fight. 218 Good. blocks. Good fight, dude. I'll consider you the winner in that fight. I'll give you Look that. Look at your percentages, man. I give you that win. Good fight, bro. Beat him on 60% of your punches, dude. That's crazy. Good fight, dude. Holy shit. Better than when you were in school. Right? <laughs> Holy shit. 59%. I'd be happy with a 49 and the teacher felt bad for me, so they gave me a 50. <laughs> the sympathy 50. 
Like, I don't want to learn this shit. Please, it's garbage. I want to learn books and games. The store will Daniel tits.